and also to the actors as well. How do you guys prepare for a set? What's going through your head, <laughs> basically? Kit? Kit? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I've got to weigh lightly on this um, TV show as far as uh, how much I reveal. So far. So far. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I, I, I think my opinion of it is that um, my favourite TV shows have got graphic scenes of sex in them. <laughs> Is, is something that we do, hopefully, they're most not, days. They're not strictly speaking TV shows, are they? <laughs> <laughs> I had to um, learn a lot of kind of things like sword fighting, horse riding, um, surviving in like the wilds of Iceland, etc. Um, for the show. I was just wondering if you yourselves were put into the actual like environment that Jon Snow and like Sam have to live in um, do you think you would survive or like how long <laughs> 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 Sam, I don't think Sam would survive would <laughs> no <laughs> John in your estimation how long would Kit survive in a Jon Snow like environment in a Jon Snow like environment Long, longer than longer than me but people say, just with regards to, you know, horse riding and sword fighting and things, my advice to all young actors is to seek out characters who are terrible at everything. <laughs> the survival, the, the, the shooting the... The pre-credit the pre -credit sequence in season three, where it's supposed to be a, continu a continuation from the end of season two, where Sam's still running uh, from, the, from the White Walker. Um, I, I had to run from about the end of the stairs to about the, those stairs over there. And uh, it, in deep snow, in fairness to me, with a, with a fairly heavy costume on. And I got to the end of there every single time when I was exhausted. <laughs> and they said, and I said, uh, just... Just out of interest, how long do you reckon Sam would have been running for? And they said about, we've worked out about 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a terrible moment where you realise that Samuel Tarly is fitter than you are. Who do you want to be? Um, <laughs> um, I've, I've always had a real soft spot for... Lord Varys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. Shut up, Oxford Union. I'd like to be a warg. <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like to, like, put myself into the, into a wolf. Just stop That's now. Right. It's not, it's not, not going to get any better than that. Two, wor two words for you. Season six. <laughs> Season six. Uh, what's the uh, most uncomfortable thing you've had to do during your time at Game of Thrones? Uh, getting smashed. Uh, around the back of the head and all down the back with a rubber sword on my, f on my first day. <laughs> because, I, because I'm a bit, or I was a bit, um, stupid, I didn't know how a, how a, a day's filming TV works. Because I, I, I went to a very a theatrical uh, drama school, so I just thought they set loads and loads of cameras up. We ran through it a couple of times, and then that's a wrap. When I read on the call sheet we had one scene to do, I was wondering what I was going to do with my afternoon. <laughs> and then, when you're still there 12 hours later getting beaten up really badly, on your first day, you start to think, you know, maybe that careers officer at school had a point when he mentioned, <laughs> when he mentioned working in a building society. Have you ever stolen it, well, nicked anything, borrowed anything from the set? Um, and if you have, what is it? And if you haven't, what would you want to take home with you? Long claw. I'd like to take my sword back. 
Um, I've, all, I've got my eyes on that. Um, there's some really good furniture on set. Some cracking some, furniture. Wouldn't mind, like, staying, some of the rugs are really nice. And, like, <laughs> just bought a flat, and so I'm looking to kind of furnish it. Yeah. I'd take my cloak home and then fucking burn it somewhere <laughs> and then not have it when I come back. <laughs> Uh, so, the cast of Game of Thrones has a relatively high turnover rate. Uh, <laughs> is that a challenge, or do you see that as an advantage? And, and there's, there's a, um, you know, before we deliver the scripts to actors who are going to perish in that script, we make the phone call, um, so, you know. The worrying thing about that is, and this is genuine, Thursday I got a text from David saying, is this still your number? I'm really proud of you. Thank you very much. I'm really proud of myself. Dragons are direwolves. Direwolves.